Just a robot. I haven't talked about T-Moss Boss in over nine months. Oh, never mind, it was ten months. Man, time sure flies. And I have a lot of new subscribers, so a lot of you probably have never heard of him before. So for those of you who don't know, he's a reactor. Kind of like Jinx, Tyro Magnus, Blasphemous HD, and other people. Now all these reaction channels pretty much all use the same arguments. But Timos Boss is by far the stupidest reactor I have ever seen. And that's saying a lot. I remember the first video of his I covered, Defending Reactors, where he said Jack couldn't do a video on Jinx because, oh my god, just, just listen for yourself. So Jack's films, 2 million subscribers, Jinx, a million subscribers. Oh my god, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do. So Jinx, he's somewhat up there, alright? So let me get this straight. You're getting mad at a person, all right? Yes, he might have a big channel, but it's a smaller channel than yours, okay? That's like me hating on somebody with like, all right, so I have 4,000. Let's say I'm hating on somebody with 400 subscribers. Yeah, someone doing a response video to someone who's only half their size is just like me doing a response video to someone who's only one-tenth my size. Now at the time Timos Boss made this video, he was at 4k subs. When I saw this video, he was at 7k subs. I only had 600 subs at the time, so I waited until I had 700 to do a video on him. Now he said, in the video I responded to, it's bad to do a response video to someone who's smaller than you, even if they do a video on you first. But guess what he did? He responded to me. I of course pointed this out to him, and this is what he said back. Comparing me to Jack is funny, since me and him uploaded two different videos. Did me and Jack do the same thing in our videos? Because if so, then you must have me confused with another YouTuber. I'm simply responding to the parts I did see of your video, and I don't need to react to it. Timos Boss, it doesn't matter if you and Jack uploaded two different videos. You said it was bad to respond to someone smaller than you. And you did exactly that. And Timos Boss does this all the time. He's a master at mental gymnastics. He'll take what you say, twist it, and then respond to it. I have never seen him actually respond to a question without twisting it. However, if he does twist what you say, you're one of the lucky ones. Normally, he'll just delete your comment without even reading it, and if you make a video response to him, most of the time he won't watch it. I did videos on him, he did videos on me, and eventually I tried to find some middle ground with him. I could only think of two things we both agreed on. We both didn't like Minnesota Boy, and we both thought black and white people can be racist. However, he somehow came to the conclusion that I was trying to get him to do a video on Minnesota Boy. Now, I wasn't. I even told him I didn't give a shit about his little war with Minnesota Boy. But even if I was asking him to do that, okay, I was making a video request, or I was trying to do a collab with him. Oh no. He even said that I was going to backstab him after he did the video on Minnesota Boy. I just think back on like what happened to some YouTubers out there and things like what happened to them when they got stabbed in the back and stuff. And it's like, dude, go ahead. You can try stabbing me in the back. I mean, if I were to carry on with this, I don't plan on carrying on with this whole me and you versus Minnesota Boy. But if it were like you can go ahead, stab me in the back. And then it's just like, I'm, you know me, I'm gonna make videos about it. Oh, and he did three videos about this situation. Eventually I passed him in subscribers, did one more video on him, and haven't talked about him since. But he kept on doing video after video on me. And I was really getting sick and tired of him lying about me, but I was waiting for the perfect moment to respond to him. And I'll explain why it's the perfect moment at the end of this video. The first video of his we're going to cover is Just a Robot is Uncreative. FACT! When you have to put the word FACT in the title, it really shows how much faith you have in your actual video. Okay, what's up guys? So, yeah, after that video, that last video of uh, Just a Robot, I realized my mistake. And, um... 
I'm pretty much going to be doing something that just a robot can never do, and that's owning up to that mistake. Well, Tmos Boss, I have made two videos discussing mistakes I have made, so yes, I can own up to my mistakes. Yeah, this is something Tmos Boss often does in his videos. He says, I made doo-doo in the toilet. Can you guys do that? No. And another thing, he doesn't actually own up to his mistake. He said he made a mistake, and he said he owned up to that mistake, but he never says what that mistake is. I do know what the mistake is. Tmos Boss claimed that after he attempted to dox me, I blocked him on Google+. Now, Tmos Boss lies about me a lot, but claiming I blocked him was just a bit too far for me. I've only blocked people for spam. No other reason. I called him out for it on Twitter, and he made a video showing that he was blocked. But the thing is, when you block someone on YouTube, it also blocks them on Google+. He was the one who blocked me, so it looked like I blocked him, even though I didn't do that. A few people explained this to him, he unblocked me and discovered the mistake he made. Then he removed his video. This is the only time I've ever seen Tmos Boss admit to a mistake. He didn't do the best job of admitting to what he did, but it gives me just the least bit amount of hope for him. And my thing is, it's like, and the reason why I say that is because this dude has made many mistakes before on his videos, and he just makes it seem like, oh, my fans, they're going to be behind me regardless, no matter what. I make it seem that my fans are going to stick by me no matter what? Are you going to explain how I do that? Oh no way, this is a Tmos Boss video. But Tmos Boss, I have received backlash from my own fan base before. Plenty of times. They're not going to stick by me no matter what I do, and I expect that. A few of them might, but the majority won't. How long would that last? You know, just that's just a question that I have for him. How long will those fans support you? Longer than your fans will support you, that's for sure. What do you have, 200 active subscribers on a channel with 12k subs? You know, I feel like that every YouTuber, they have like a time limit on YouTube until somebody else just takes their spot. I don't exactly know what he means by this. There are plenty of YouTubers who do what I do. Some are better at it, some are not. And Tmos Boss, I hate to break it to you, but there's plenty of people who do what you do, and most of them do it better. Actually, I take that back. All of them do it better. And it's just going to be in a matter of time where it's either one of his fans or some random person takes his spot. And now they're doing videos on subjects that actually matters. Tmos Boss, that's a horrible thing to say. You matter. You matter deeply to me, Tmos Boss. Don't put yourself down like that. If you're making full-blown videos and if, like about me, like you're taking the time to record, edit it, you know, and post this with beyond your fan base, I I just see it as that you are not creative. Aw, oh, dang, he got me there, guys. I put hard work into my videos. I edit them, and people outside of my fan base like them. That proves I'm not talented. I can't wait for Tmos Boss's next video about how Ryan Reynolds is rich, successful, famous, good looking, and that proves he's a loser. And the reason why I say that is because he only does commentary videos. No, Tmos Boss, I don't just do commentary videos. I also do power scaling videos, reviews, and other stuff. Also, even if I did just do commentary videos, how do you know I'm just not really talented at doing commentary videos? It's better to be a master at something than just a jack of all trades. Yes, I mostly do commentary videos, but that doesn't mean it's all I do. I remember you made a similar point in the very first video you did on me. And it's just like, that's what his channel is mainly about. Him attacking, you know, reactors or anybody else. Because I like how he said in the description box thing on his channel saying that uh, he makes commentary videos against political videos. Defending reactors wasn't political, so it's like, really, what was the point of that video? You Let's have a look at my channel description. Hello, I am a robot who mostly does commentaries on political videos. It's two years later and you're still making the same mistakes. The fact that I've done music, 
I just uploaded an uh, anime music video, all right? Really? You did an AMV? That's interesting. I did basically the same thing. On my original channel, if you check the bonus videos playlist, you'll see a video that was basically an AMV. But it was more of a fan-made trailer, if you know what I mean. I'll link it down below. Please go check it out. Him, him hiding his identity is just another way of covering up like he doesn't want any of his family or friends or nobody to know that he does YouTube videos. Well, t Moss boss said so, so I guess it's true. He's not going to explain why he thinks this way, but oh boy. Now they might know, but do they watch them? No, they do not. I don't know how much my friends and family watch my videos. But I can say whether they do or don't, it doesn't matter too much to me. I got co-workers at my mom's job. I got co-workers most likely at my dad's job. I got co-workers at my job, customers. There's people around the world, like around me. People I don't even know that watch my videos, that know about my videos and stuff. Whoa, guys. There are people t -Moss Boss doesn't even know who watch his videos. There are people around the world who know about t -Moss Boss. Well, golly gee willikers, I really wish I had something like that. Oh no, wait, I do. And so does every other YouTuber. I love how he made this huge list about people he knows IRL that watch his videos. But if that's true, where are all your views at? If what you say is true, t -Moss Boss, then that means most of the views you're getting now are just people you begged to subscribe to your channel in real life. Dang, that's sad. What am I doing wrong? EVERYTHING! And if it's the whole reaction video thing, like, okay, how come more people know about reaction videos than commentary videos? They don't, t -Moss Boss. The number one YouTuber, PewDiePie, now does commentary styles in the same style I do them in. Yes, he was well known for gaming, but now he mostly does commentary videos. And yes, I know he has done reaction videos, but very few, and he actually did them the right way and actually paused the video to talk about it. Which pretty much makes it a commentary. How come you see it where these production companies for movies, when somebody does a reaction to their trailer of some movie that's coming out, you got them retweeting that reaction? Now, one of the things I am okay with reactors doing is reacting to a trailer. Because the people who made the trailer don't care about how much money the trailer makes. They care about how many people see the trailer, so they'll go see the movie, and that's where the real money is. And companies retweet reactions to their trailer because the more popular those videos get, the more popular their trailer gets. And guess what? Companies do the same thing to reviews of their product. That's it. Like, when you search up my name on Twitter and stuff, and then you see, oh, such and such like the video of t Moss Boss doesn't understand anything, or t Moss Boss is a hypocrite and stuff, it's only just the robots fans. Nobody else, okay? It's not Brad Pitt. It's not Angelina Jolie. Because it has nothing to do with them. It's not about Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt. Are they retweeting your stuff? No, so shut up. Actors look out for positive stuff. They're not trying to look out for negative stuff. And that's why it's just when you have rappers. Rappers are a prime example. Rappers are a good example of positivity? What? Rappers are some of the most negative people in the world. I've heard so many different songs where they just talk crap about critics and haters. Yeah, and so did M. Night Shyamalan. He had a critic get slaughtered in one of his movies. And guess what? His career is failing. Also, t -Moss Boss, you really shouldn't take advice from rappers. Music is like a bowl of candy. You gotta throw out all the rappers. And that's just even more so of a reason of, like, why people shouldn't accept criticism. Like, nobody shouldn't have to accept criticism. I shouldn't have to. Even Robot himself shouldn't have to. I don't think you understand what criticism is. I've actually improved from some of the criticism people have given me. Some people said I talk too slow and now I try to speed it up. People have told me my background was getting boring, so I changed it up. And there's much more I could go into, but this video is long enough. But it's just like the fact that he sits around and he criticizes everybody else, and then as soon as he gets criticized, then, oh, it's a problem. No, t -Moss Boss, it's not a problem at all if someone criticizes me. Staxolotl criticized me a little in his video about me, and I enjoyed that video. What I do have a problem with is people who lie about me, like you. 
Also, Tmos Spas, it's okay for you to criticize the Thomas the Tank Engine fanbase, but if anyone else criticizes you, suddenly it's a problem. I gotta play the victim card. I gotta do this and that. <laughs> when have I ever played the victim? Did I make a video saying, Gosh, Timo's boss is bullying me. He's being mean. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have said you're a liar and proven that you're a liar. But that's not me playing the victim in any way whatsoever. I remember I called him out for being a liar on Twitter and he started saying I was playing the victim. Also, I think he said I was playing the victim in the video he deleted about me, quote unquote, showing I blocked him. But also remember this part because we are going to come back to it later in the video. It's funny how he says that my own problems are self-inflicted. Like, no, your own problems are self-inflicted. Oh, Timos boss took my point and turned it around on me. I guess I'm a hypocrite. Except for, you know, you have to follow up that point and explain how my problems are self-inflicted. Also, Timos boss, I really don't have any problems. Like, I feel like that everything that he says about me is the same thing that I can say about him. You can say it, but you can't prove it. But everything you say about me, I can prove wrong, and also prove you do it. And I'm gonna be doing that throughout the video. Okay. So, it's just, my thing is, it's like, dude, I really don't care. Well, if you don't care, why do you keep making videos on me over and over again? Either you're lying about not caring, or you truly don't care and are making videos about something you don't care about, which would make you insane. So which is it? Are you a liar, or are you insane? You know, what kind of... Go ahead, make a video about this, make a video about any other videos I make about. It's gonna probably get to a point in time where I just don't even feed this stuff anymore. I highly doubt that. I think you'll keep feeding it. I mean, considering you were feeding this even when I wasn't doing anything for 10 months really proves to me you'll keep feeding this. I want to use my time on YouTube well. Well, you're failing. But can he honestly say that any given time on YouTube, has he used it well? Mm, yes, I can. Have there been a few duds here and there? Yeah, but for the most part, I think I do a pretty good job on YouTube. Okay, yeah, I guess if you're getting views and subs and it's making you money and putting it in your bank account or PayPal, whichever, then alright, yeah. Then you, I guess you are, but I feel like with him, it's just he's not. You feel that I'm not getting views and subs and money? What? You're fucking delusional. And that's why I'm making this video and titling this whole video, he is not creative. The fact that I've done so many different genres of YouTube, or just videos on YouTube, and he's only did one. Oh look, Timos boss is repeating the same points he has already made in the same video. And then I get the backlash, I get the hate, I get the, you know, criticism and stuff. What does he get, alright? More views, more subs, more money, and way more fan art. It's a pretty good life. As he just misleads his fans into the, just the wrong stuff on YouTube, like pretty much puts that idea in their head, like whatever he talks about, whatever he does commentary on, that it's wrong. And if it has to be something that he likes in order for them to like it. Yes, Timos boss, I use my mind control technology to force them to agree with me. Or, you know, I just make an argument and explain why I feel the way I do. You should try it sometime. Okay, but if he doesn't like it, then yeah, he pretty much tells them to just go ahead, dislike their videos, hate on their channel and stuff. Timos boss, stop lying about me. I have never told my fans to ever hate on someone's channel. They do it at their own free will. All of these different type of reaction videos, and you don't really see commentary videos. Like, if they do, it's always on some subject where it's actually, like, dumb and actually stupid. Like... You mean like you? No, oh, just a robot. Like, it was about me. But even, like, any jokes or anything that's cracked about me, like, I laugh about it. Even, like, racist jokes. I remember when that whole crap with Minnesota Boy happened, people was calling me some crazy racist names. I laughed about it. Yeah, one of your fans called me a dumbass nigga. I laughed about it. But with him, it's just, like, he's just one of the most blank, like, just plain, simple, basic YouTubers. Like... To me, it's just there ain't no creativity behind him, like... According to you, of course, but your opinion means absolutely nothing to me. I mean, what, people have already done the same type of videos that you've done, and they're actually successful. Well, I would consider myself to be successful. I'm on my way to 100k, but Timos Boss, plenty of people have done what you do, 
and are way more successful than you. Great. Like, the fact that it, well, it took him this long to get 31,000 subscribers and stuff. Yeah, it only took me two years to be three times bigger than you. My god. And now, not even a year later, I'm more than twice as big. On a separate channel. And it's just now taking you this thing. You've been doing this for how long? And it's just, my, my thing is, it's like, I, I guess, I guess. Maybe one day he'll be more successful, but I don't really see him successful. <laughs> just a robot is so stupid. It took him this long to get this far. Even though it took me way longer to get this far, I'm nowhere near as big as he is. And my channel is dying, but uh, but he's still a loser. Well, I'm way more successful than you, and I'm on the road to 100k. What's your definition of successful? Please tell me, I would like to know. He shouldn't have to get his fan base on it. I didn't get my fan base on it. I tell my fan base, stay away from this type of stuff. Don't get involved and just let me handle it. Yeah, I told my fans not to attack one guy before. Guess what happened? The guy complained about it. And Timos Boss, I think in only two of your videos you told your fans not to attack me, but there's really no need. You have a very small fan base. I actually would like to apologize to the one YouTuber, uh, JTV. That's a good friend of mine's, and... Well, if he's such a good friend of yours, why don't you two do a video together? I don't know if you have done a video together, but if you haven't, then you really should get on that. He tells me all the time, like, ignore these guys. Like, ignore them. Just don't give them no attention. But I feel like that I just, you know, this is the only way I can really defend myself. And this is how I've always defended myself. You really should take advice from your friend, Timos Boss. It's pretty good. Taste, take it as uh, respectful. I don't care. But, um, anyways, and I mean that, I do not care, it ain't no, oh, he does mean he actually cares, no, I'm, word for word, what I just said, I do not care, alright, so. Okay, you know what, I'm sick of you using the I don't care excuse. Here's a clip from one of Timos Boss's deleted videos, where he said the dislikes on his channel is the most stressful thing he ever had to deal with. I'm trying, like, to just ignore this, but I can't. And I, like, I don't know if you guys, like, I'll say that I'm moving on. I'll say that, you know, that this isn't getting to me, that this is helping me. But this is the most stressful thing I think I've ever had to deal with in my life. Timos Boss, you have admitted that you lie about not caring. You lie about this not affecting you. Stop saying you don't care. That was kind of a mistake on That's Robot's part for even mentioning something like that in his video was that he was just just so free about talking about how he can get his fans to flag my videos and take me off of YouTube. What kind of YouTuber promotes that? He's leaving out context again. You asked me to take down your channel. I told you how I could take down your channel. I wasn't going to flag just random videos. It was the video where you attempted to dox me. You got until January 1st of 2018 to take me off of YouTube. If you want to, take take down my gaming channel, okay? The thing is, Timos Boss, I do not want to take you down. I could tell my fans to flag your video where you attempted to dox me, but I'm not going to do that because... I don't want you to be taken down. I have every right to tell my fans to flag down the video where you attempted to dox me. But the thing is, I don't want to flag your channel down. You ask me to take your channel down. I explain how I can, and then you flip out and say, Just the robot out of nowhere threatened to take down my channel! Like, I, as long as I have been on YouTube, I've never promoted the fact that somebody needs to get their video flagged. And neither have I. However, you asked us to take your channel down, and I assume that meant through any means necessary. But remember this part, because it is going to become important later. If anything, I would expect him to take the videos down himself. Why would you expect that from me? I mean, I expect that from you, but that's because you have done that before. Their videos. Like, seriously, and this is the, like, and like I said, his fans, they're just going to get more caught up in this situation, and they are so misled. Like, I want his fans to know right now, I am not the bad guy. Well, you failed to give any examples of how I mislead my audience, but unlike you, I actually gave examples of how you mislead your audience. 
but I'm not gonna tell my fans if you're good or bad. I'll let them come to their own conclusion. Like the fact I would sit down and if you guys was dealing with something personal, and if you are a fan of his and you are dealing with something personal, you guys can talk to me. You're a fan of my like of me, you guys can sit down and talk with me. If you're just not even a fan, you're just a random person watching this video, you can sit down and talk with me. Wow, T Moss boss sounds like such a good guy. Unfortunately, I have a few screen caps that uh prove otherwise. Like, that's what I'm here for. I feel like I'm here to help out people, whether it's entertaining them or whether it's just trying to figure out the problem in their life and trying to solve that problem. So, he can't do stuff like that. Hold on, I can't say I entertain people? <laughs> really? Demos Boss, I have a way bigger fan base than yours. I entertain way more people. And I've helped out the names Junkie, Manga Common, Brad Reed, financially helped out Vegito1089 and Dylan Thomas, hired Christina Prime and Pufferfish to do stuff for me, giving them money, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, now let's move on to the next video. This is where Timos Boss, I'm not even joking here, says he's gonna take action and try to delete my channel. It's funny because he was just ranting about me trying to take his channel down even though he asked me to, and I wasn't even trying to do it. I feel like the only way that these dislikes can stop being a part of my whole like YouTube life is for me to just like crack down on it and to you know put a stop to it. Oh okay so you're cracking down on the dislikes you don't care about. Because I really I see it as this. I know I didn't do anything wrong. If I would have did something wrong then it's like I felt like one would think if a person did something wrong one would think that they would realize it. They would imagine that defense in court. Hey judge I know I didn't do anything wrong. And if someone did something wrong, they would know they did something wrong. So that proves I didn't do anything wrong. By the way, Timos Boss, I didn't do anything wrong. So by your own logic, I'm completely innocent. When you're just minding your own business, and a YouTuber goes in your comment sections and they start attacking you, but then also want to, like, you know, offer you stuff, and it's like, why is it a problem that I have trust issues with this YouTuber? Timos Boss, stop doing that. I'm really sick of it. You having trust issues with me is not my problem. You twisting what I say and then making up this whole story about me, making three videos on it, is what I have a problem with. Stop doing that. And then it's like, he must have caught on to that. That, okay, the trust is like, very limited. What makes you think I'm gonna trust you even more if you make a video fueling up your fans and giving them a reason to be on my channel even more than they were before that night in December? Why did I make a video about it? That's a good question. Hmm, maybe it's because you made three videos on me first. No, I didn't think it would make you trust me anymore. At that point, I didn't care. But follow your own logic. Do you think making video after video after video on me is not going to aggravate me? Really? And that was when he did his commentary on me defending reactors. And I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, I, I know I did not do anything wrong that day when, I, when he did that video, or when I did that video. I was defending it, uh, reactors that I happen to be a fan of. Aww, all Timos Boss was doing was defending reactors he liked. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, no, wait. He was attacking Jack, who I happen to be a fan of. And guess what? Jinx started that whole thing. Jinx did a video on Jack first. Then Jack responded to Jinx, and you got mad at Jack for responding to Jinx. So Jack's filmed 2 million subscribers. Jinx, a million subscribers. Oh my god, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. So Jinx, he's somewhat up there, all right? So let me get this straight. You're getting mad at a person, all right? Yes, he might have a big channel, but it's a smaller channel than yours. Timos Boss, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just defending a YouTuber I liked. It wouldn't be no different if the YouTubers that he liked, if they were being attacked. Really? Well, golly gee willikers, Timos Boss, I totally agree. This man came up to me and offered me something that I did not want, I turned it down, and then I'm the one that gets hate over it? You keep forgetting about the three videos you made lying about me, don't you? Turning down a deal is not the issue here, Timos Boss, and we keep telling you that! If this would have been me offering, let's, the fans for an example, Robots fans, let's say if it was me offering you guys a deal, would you accept it? Well, what's the deal? We need a little bit more context than that. Also, by not accepting it, do you mean making three videos on you? Just asking. 
And that's why I'm just like, you guys, and chances are y'all probably unsaid no. So it's like, okay, what makes your answer any more different than the same answer I'm giving off? The not making three videos full of lies part? And that's where it's like, you know what, no, I this summer, like, I'm seriously, I'm gonna be calling up people on YouTube, I'm going to try to figure out every possible way, if I gotta co keep calling them every single day, to put a stop to this, and if Robot ends up getting taken down because of, uh, because of it all, you guys brought that on yourself. And this is what I was talking about. Tmos Boss asked me to take his channel down. I told him I didn't want to take it down. Then he started running around telling people that I wanted to take his channel down. And now here he is, trying to take my channel down, but I didn't even ask him to take my channel down. This guy is completely unbelievable. Co-worker at my job was telling me about this. He was talking to me and giving me advice about this. And he was like, if this is something that you want to do full time, then it's like, you got to do whatever it takes to make sure that your channel is in the clear. Well, you already failed at that, so it's kind of too late. Alright, anybody else that's trying to bring you down, you gotta pretty much take them down first. Well, Tmos Boss, I'm not trying to take you down, but you just admitted to trying to take me down. And by your own logic, I should take you down before you take me down. I am very tempted to do that, but I'm still not going to do it. And I feel like that's, and it's like Robot, he did not once but all like, oh, you know, this is, you know, this is all a mistake, blah, 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 try to squash all of this. Every single video, every single video, it always fueled up some hatred with his fans. No, Timos Boss, I did try to squash all of this. Remember, you made three videos about it. Also, I haven't made a video on you in nearly a year. Get over it. Like, people are all like, oh, you gotta learn how to accept it. You gotta learn how to accept criticism and all that crap. And even that was another thing that, um, co-worker at my job, he was saying. And he was just all like, when you upload a video, that's, you know, you're asking to be criticized. It's not like, and it's just like, if you didn't want the videos to be criticized, you wouldn't have it public. And I'm like, that makes so, that, I'm like, that makes so much sense. Oh my god, finally! We have been telling you that for years! If you upload a video, expect to be criticized! If you don't want me uploading what I want, then don't comment what you want. I it works the other way. If you don't want people to comment what they want, then don't upload what you want. If you never uploaded anything, people couldn't comment on them. I, I'm surprised I did not think of something like that, but I'm like, that makes so much sense. Wait, really? You're surprised you didn't think of something that literally everybody thought of before you? Why would I? Why would I? It's okay. How can I not accept criticism in all of my videos from today or from this video? Oh my god, shut up, you idiot! Receiving criticism and accepting criticism are two different things! You were so close to understanding something a whole bunch of people have been screaming at you for years now. Also, didn't you say this earlier in the video? And that's just even more so of a reason of like why people shouldn't accept criticism like nobody shouldn't have to accept criticism i shouldn't have to even robot himself shouldn't have to a bit of a contradiction don't you think why am i like no those videos can't be criticized when did you guys even come up with that conclusion we didn't you did we even have audio of you saying so for people to say that i started all of this why would i make have i ever been known to start beef with somebody um, yes, you started it with the Thomas the Tank Engine fan base, Minnesota boy, but it doesn't matter if you started or not. Have I ever been known for that? Okay? And it's just like, people, they'll, and it's just like, yeah, the whole Thomas Tank Engine crap. I've explained myself on that, the Minnesota boy thing. That dude's a racist. Oh, so you have started beef with people. Well, uh, thanks for making my point for me. Also, here's how he explained himself on the whole drama with the Thomas the Tank Engine fan base. I would just like to take the time in this video to apologize to that community, the Thomas Tank Engine community. You know, the, my my intentions was never to like offend the whole fan base, just a few people within that fan base. You said. And you're still watching that Thomas the Train video? I would not be surprised if you were in prison, okay, for molesting a child, for molesting a child, for molesting a child. That was a clip from mainstream media commentaries. You should check him out. He makes videos that totally wreck T-Moss boss. Okay, what other beefs? 
um yeah i that's that's really like the only two beefs and things i've like really been into that's like so popular with me and stuff yeah and i only had beef with the neo cc the alt cc you team gohan fighter and that's about it. I only really consider it a beef if there's videos between me and the other people going back and forth. With Team Gohan Fighter, it's a bit of a stretch, and the whole drama with the alt CC is relatively new. Because it's like, no, I seriously, I need the channel that I had in November of 2016. Team Moss Boss, this is why we say your channel is dead. You're growing way slower than you used to. It's not even a comparison. Did I have a control over uh, just a robot leaving comments on my videos and stuff? No, I didn't. I don't think anyone claimed you did. Could you please stop arguing with these straw men you create? And you don't want to see both sides of the story? You guys don't even want to put yourself in my shoes. No, Timos Boss, we do check out both sides of the story. Granted, it's kind of hard because every time we listen to your side of the story, you say, If you don't like it, don't watch it. Well, if we don't watch it, how can we see your side of the story? Because you knew if this was happening to you, you would try to be doing the same thing I'm doing. No, Timos Boss, not even close. I would listen to what the others have to say and try to construct an argument around what they're saying about me. You, on the other hand, would make up stuff and say, Do I have control over the people making videos about me? No. Why would you assume? that i at this point now i don't care oh okay so at this point you don't care so all those other times you said you didn't care you were lying and just now you don't care huh i gotcha you're not getting any money whatsoever or getting any money taken away from you to watch my videos so it's just like you're all like it's wasting my time then do not come back Timos Boss, you just told us you wanted us to hear your side of the story. If we don't come back, we won't be able to hear your side of the story. I refuse to let my fans get attacked over some crap. This, like, they didn't even have, they're watching my videos, and then they're trying to defend me, and then here's some hater coming in the comment section, and all like, oh, stop watching their videos. Stop watching Timos Boss's videos. His videos suck. And they're all like, no, I like his videos. Oh, well, you're an idiot. You're this and that. Bullying my fans because they want to watch my videos? Yeah, it's kind of like you bullying people who just want to watch Thomas the Tank Engine. Timon's boss, you have this attitude of, it's okay when I do it, but when anyone else does it, it's bad. I also want to see screenshots and context between the beef between your and my fans. For all I know, your fans started this. But I'm guessing when your fans insult my fans, it's okay in your eyes. You guys are such control freaks. It is so just scary and just upsetting to see stuff like that happen on a platform that's supposed to be, like, public for anybody. So it's like if somebody is walking different, you're going to judge them for walking? You're going to criticize their walking? Timon's boss, in this same video, you were talking about deleting channels of people you don't like. Yet you're calling others control freaks? Really? And define walking differently. If someone is walking in a weird way, flailing their arms about, then yes, I'm going to criticize that. I think I actually already have. Also, if you're walking around like this, you're going to get the shit beaten out of you. Or if they're talking different, you're going to criticize their talking. Or if they are dressed or look different, you're going to criticize that about them. Timos Boss, people criticize me for the way I talk all the time. And yes, I have criticized people for the way they dress. All of the really negative... <laughs> what is he wearing? Is he holding a gun while in boxer shorts? This is completely silly. This is even sillier than when he was completely naked while being high off his ass. I would be an old man making sure that it all ends. Okay, that it all ends. Because I'm tired of it, man. I'm seriously tired of it. Yeah, guys, t -Moss Boss is going to be fighting this fight until he's an old man. If that's not caring, then I don't know what is. Okay, now let's talk about his next video. This one is titled, Hear Me Out, which is something he doesn't do for other people. Okay, what's up guys? Now I know that uh, I'm gonna get hatred off of this video, and uh, it's it ain't gonna be any different than any other video, so it's like, it, it doesn't really matter. Then why make it in the first place? It's just, honestly, this video is up, and honestly, you guys are sitting down and watching it. I just really just want you guys to hear what I have to say and things. Well, we're all ears, t -Moss Boss. We'll give you the courtesy and hear what you have to say, even though you won't do the same for us, but that's kind of expected of you at this point. 
if somebody has sent nothing but negativity and hatred to your channel and then they try to cover it up and make it seem like that oh it was positivity you know i sent nothing but positivity to your channel i have never claimed to send nothing but positivity to your channel I'm curious of how you came to this conclusion. Your brain amazes me. And you're getting comments like, kill yourself. Well, that's unfortunate. I have received kill yourself comments too. But if someone told Tmos Boss to kill himself, please don't do that. You know, your subscribers, like, you just, you, you're a bad YouTuber pretty much. It's funny that he lied about me, claiming that I said I sent nothing but positivity to his channel and that I sent someone to him to call him a bad YouTuber. Because he said that I don't know how to be a YouTuber. All right, and it's just like, not because, not because of those videos that I made, you know, not because of the dislikes and stuff, because he doesn't know how to be a YouTuber. And he constantly brags about how positive he is. You try to make a straw man of me, but you do the exact same things you claim I do. And then they're trying to say that that's positive? Would, would you believe that? No, t -Moss Boss. I would not believe that. But guess what? No one made that argument. Well, except for you, of course. Would you, would you believe that somebody left a positive comment on your YouTube channel and that comment said, kill yourself? No, t -Moss Boss. I do not believe someone saying on your video, kill yourself, was trying to be positive. And I especially don't believe you because you have no proof of this happening. After being cyberbullied countless times for the past two years. Okay, remember how earlier in the video he says I play the victim card even though he doesn't give an example of how I play the victim card? Well, here he is, playing the victim card! Every time you make up something about me, you do it yourself. be somebody else that they come across on YouTube and they say that to them. And then that was like the one and last time that they get that comment and then next thing you know, they didn't put a bullet through their head. Well, guess what? One of the reaction channels you're so fond of, CJ So Cool, told Becky Boop to kill herself. Becky Boop is a fucking hoax. Who the fuck is that? Kill yourself. Seriously. Because I, I know if I don't like a person's YouTube videos, I'm not going to sit there weeks on end and make a video about why I don't like their videos. Bullshit. You have made video after video after video about me talking about how I'm a shit YouTuber. And then, at the end of the day, call it criticism. That's just the one thing that I just never understood about Just a Robot. Ever since he made the first video about me, you called those criticizing videos about me. Well, I have referred to them more as commentaries, but yeah, I guess you could call them criticizing videos. And it's maybe you need to go to Rotten Tomato, maybe you need to like go into some like criticizing classes or something to where you know what criticism is, but... Criticism to me is where nothing on the other end happens to that person. Uh, that's completely false. People who criticize the most are critics. And reviews from critics can affect the person they're criticizing. I also love how you say, Well, according to me, criticizing should be this and that. Well, I don't care what you think criticizing is. I care about what most people think criticizing is. You're not the authority on what words mean. You know, it's like, it's because my thing is, it's like, okay, then his fans, they're all like, oh, we're trying to give you criticism and stuff. He just made a video about me. What are you going to say that's going to be any different? Well, you normally don't watch my videos. In fact, I think you've only seen one of my videos all the way through. So how do you know they're saying the same things as me? Like, and then it's just like his fans, they get upset when it's just like, I, it's like when I leave a comment back telling them, I'm like, I'm not hearing this. Like, okay, take take your paragraph long comments and go somewhere else with it because I'm, I'm not hearing it. Then you get mad and dislike the video. <laughs> it's just, that type of stuff just doesn't make any sense to me. t -Moss Boss, you literally asked us in the beginning of this video to hear you out. And you won't do us the same courtesy. And that pisses people off. How does that not make sense to you? It really doesn't. Throughout the years I have been on YouTube, I have to say that there is one in the one and only time where I just developed some random hatred for a person. It was Ray William Johnson. Ray William Johnson. Out of all YouTubers, it was Ray William Johnson. 
while you also had a hatred for Rebecca Black. I'm gonna be talking about Rebecca Black. Got nothing against her, just don't like her. You make horrible music. If I hear like one more song of From You Again, I'm gonna leave like the most meanest comment in the world of YouTube history. It's funny you forgot about that. I was a kid with internet access. Now I feel like that that's for the most part with Robot's case and all of his fans. They're kids with internet access. Yeah, this is one of Tmos boss's favorite insults. He likes to call people children and kids and immature, even though he does the exact same thing he accuses others of doing. I don't know, I feel like that it's the level of embarrassment that just hits you like hard and you realize like how dumb that stuff is like honestly i i want robot to be like you know in his 60s or 70s i want him to just realize how dumb the robot act is the whole criticizing act and trying to make it seem like that oh that's really helping a person i want everything that he's ever done in his life that was like that nobody doesn't know about. Timon's boss, a hell of a lot more people know about my channel than your channel. And I will admit, I am embarrassed about some of my older videos. But you have way more to be embarrassed about, yet you're proud of it. What does that say about you? But, and the only people that do know about it is him and his fans. I want somebody outside of that circle to see what he does and then just sit down and talk to him about it. Tmos Boss, my friends and family do know about my channel, and we do sit down and talk about it. They have helped me come up with video ideas and even jokes. I even done a video with a guy I knew in real life. His character's name was Blackjack. If you want to see the video I did with him, it will be linked down below. I highly recommend checking it out. But I know that's not what you're saying. You're saying that if someone in real life knew about my channel, they would sit me down and give me a stern talking to and tell me what I'm doing is immature. Well, guess what? No one but you and a small handful of your fans feel that way. I don't know what goes on behind doors with him and his fans. We have massive orgies with each other. And all of that. But I, I, would, I would really like to just see you know, what, you know, somebody else outside of his circle and they sit down, they talk to him about the t -Moss boss doesn't understand anything video. I've actually have done that and they say you're an idiot. Or the, any of the other videos that he's made about me. Like, I, I want somebody to sit down to, and please, somebody record that for me. I, I would really, I would really love to see that. Yes, please do that for me. Please, one of my 100 active fans. I love how he says I send my fans to do my dirty work, but here he is saying, please argue with just a robot for me. Sit down and talk with him. I know somebody was like, uh, they went on to say that I, they hope that me and him squash everything, put everything behind us, and um, they, you know, we just go our separate ways. Going our separate ways, I think, is the best thing, but... But what? I haven't talked about you in months. I was willing to go separate ways, but you kept on talking about me. Squashing everything, it's, it's, the damage has really just been done. It's, I feel like that's, you know, squashing him, taking the time to make an apology video or anything else, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to do anything. t -Moss Boss, I have nothing to be sorry for. I am sorry about one thing. I'm sorry you think you deserve an apology. I'm, I'm letting you guys know right now. I am not mentally, I'm still going, because at that, one would think that if I was mentally hurt or if I was in pain, then I would just delete my YouTube channel, disappear, and then just go about my day. No. Oh, okay, you're not hurt, according to yourself. So what's the issue here? Them watching me do an El Presador, uh reaction video. And then next thing you know, I'm sitting down and I'm talking to them, you know, and helping them out with their personal life and stuff. That's amazing. And I don't know if Just a Robot does that same thing with his fans. Tmos Boss, that's really not too amazing. Pretty much every single YouTuber does this. I have made some very close friendships with some of my fans. Unfortunately, I do have a lot of them, so I can't make time for all of them, but I do what I can. But right after t -Moss Boss says, I don't know if Just a Robot does that, he says this. 
Robot, obviously he ain't gonna do that with his fans because he's so busy working on the next video about why Tmos Boss doesn't understand anything. Why he doesn't know how to accept criticism. So first you say you don't know if I talk to my fans. Then you're saying that you know I don't talk to my fans. And by the way, this is from the same video. But the best part is, he says I'm too busy to talk to my fans because I'm too busy doing videos on him. Well guess what, Tmos Boss, you do way more videos on me than I do on you. Also, Tmos Boss, at the time you made this video, I hadn't done a video on you for over half a year. It's like, my thing, I, I've gotten to a point in time in my life, and I hope Robot reaches that point in time in his life, that you need to realize how short life is. You need to seriously realize how short life is, and the fact that you wasted time either writing a comment, Disliking a video? What about the dozens and dozens of videos you made about me and my fans? And the hundreds of comments you've left replying to my fans? Oh no wait, it doesn't count when you do it. It's only bad when anyone else does it. I gotcha. I seen the one video where the guy, he made a video and it was a four second video of him showing that I blocked him on social media. He spent four seconds on a video? Wow! Well, guess what? You spent over ten minutes on this video! God damn, you're the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen! You seriously set up whatever you set up, alright, to record that little four second video to show to your five subscribers that I have you blocked on social media. And I feel like that, that whole process... Okay, so a four second video and then maybe like 10 seconds or maybe a little bit longer to upload onto YouTube. Maybe the same amount of time. Yeah, and you set up stuff to make this video and probably spend more time uploading it. What's your point? You took that time, okay? When you could have been doing, using that minute for something else. You use that minute to just let the people that only know about me and Robot you took the time to show them that I have you blocked on Twitter. Yeah, a whole minute wasted. He could have been spending that minute playing video games or texting. But instead, he wasted it making a video on you. Timos Boss, no one cries over a minute wasted. And I highly doubt he even spent that much amount of time. Do you think... Donald Trump, if you sent that video to him, do you think if he if he actually sat down and he watched that video, do you think he would go on a raid of tweets to talk about why I have you blocked on social media? Wow. Even for Timos Boss, this is pretty stupid. I don't think I or anyone I know who has ever made a response video thought to themselves, Man, I bet Donald Trump would like this video. I hope he sees it. I mean, do you think Trump would like your videos, Timos Boss? I mean, you have made videos bashing him. They were pretty stupid, too. You said he couldn't be president because he was on pro wrestling one time. That's like the worst reason for someone not to be president. If you sent that tweet to John, or yeah, if you sent that video to John Cena, you know, do you, do you think he would care? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> well, yes, t -Moss Boss, I agree. He wouldn't care. No one made the argument that he would. Do you, do you think Slender Man, they're showing a preview to Slender Man right now, do you think he would care? The fictional creepypasta character? What the fuck am I watching? Maybe he might care. Maybe that's, maybe, yeah, that's... He'd probably be the only one that would care about the whole situation, because at the end of the day, he's killing me regardless, so... That's such a bizarre thing to laugh about. Someone makes a video on you, so you bring up Trump, John Cena, then Slenderman, ask him if any of them would care about their video, then start laughing about Slenderman killing you after you show him a video someone made on you. I feel like I'm in an episode of The Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's, to me, I, I just want people to just realize, like, how silly this situation is and how time-consuming time that it is. I spent 15 minutes talking about this situation, trying to put it in your head just how silly it is, and chances are, at the end of the day, you guys are going to still dislike the videos. Exactly. So, in other words, you wasted your time. You know, the thing you were complaining about others doing throughout this video.
I really hope you have the self-awareness to realize your hypocrisy. I think I might start doing that. Finding just random people and having them watch like a clip of those videos and be like, would you use this video for the future? Would you have you have you learned anything from this video? <laughs> Can you just imagine just some random guy walking down the street who doesn't know about me or T Moss Boss at all? And T Moss Boss just running up to him and showing him a video that someone did on him on his phone? Imagine the random guy's reaction to that scenario. And it's people have seen those videos and they have came up to me and the only thing that they have to say about it is that you have some haters, man, so... It sounds to me like they're laughing at you behind your back. Okay, now let's cover one more of T-Moss Boss's videos. This one is called, I am the hardest working YouTuber in Washington State. But I feel like that the way I see myself and the way that I see myself as a YouTuber... I'll have to say I am probably one of the most hardest working YouTubers, if not around the world, definitely in Washington State. <laughs> How so? You're one of the laziest YouTubers I've ever seen. How big is your ego? You think you're the hardest working YouTuber in your state? I can't wait to hear the argument he's going to come up with. I, I'll have to say that like every situation, I've dealt with personal problems. I, you know, with myself and with others, I've dealt with, like, you know, social media problems. I've dealt with probably just about anything. So what? I've dealt with losing my job and still uploading a video. I've dealt with working 12 to 14 hours a day every day of the week and still uploading a video. I've had family problems and internet problems and still uploaded a video. Hell, I lost my old YouTube account and I kept on uploading videos. You're nothing special, Team Boss Boss. There are times in videos where I would be sick. Cool, I also made a video while I was sick. And plenty of other YouTubers have also done that. What's your point? I think there is a, um, well, I think there is a video where my nose has started bleeding. Cool, people have made videos while they were in the hospital. I can, with this platform, I can no doubt entertain the world. And that's why I have to say that I am the most hardest working YouTuber, if not in the whole world, definitely in Washington State. According to yourself and pretty much no one else. And your evidence to support this claim is, I did a video while I was sick. I did a video while it was hot outside. Oh my god, dude, shut up. And by entertaining the world, you mean entertaining the hundred people who still watch you, right? I don't think you know how many people there are in the world, Timos Boss. I will make sure that I'm working on some project. I got so many different projects. I'm working on another Try Not To Laugh Challenge. Whoa, guys, he's working on a Try Not To Laugh Challenge. Move over, YouTube animators. I'm, I'm just, when people, when they tell me that I'm a lazy YouTuber, and it's just like all of the work that I put in into YouTube, it's just like, I sat here, I saved up my money to get a gaming PC. I've done the most with the gaming PC. I've done the most with my Xbox One. I've done the most with my PlayStation. To every construction worker out there who complains about working in the hot sun, you need to shut up. This guy plays video games. You have no idea how hard his life is. Also, Timos Boss, what do you mean you did the most with your gaming console? I mean, you made a video bragging about beating Halo 4. Not in legendary mode, you just said you beat it. Congratulations, I've beat all the Halo games on Legendary Mode, and I don't brag about it because plenty of people have already done that. I'm making me some YouTube videos, I'm doing that from 1 to, uh, or I'm doing that from like 10 o'clock, all the way up, probably up until like 4 or 5 o'clock and things, and so... When I was doing that, bro, that was honestly the funnest time in my life. That was the funnest time in your life? Really? Don't get me wrong, making videos is fun and all, but your life must really be sad if that was the funnest time in your life. Like I said, I'm probably the one of the most hardest working YouTubers in Washington State. So I'm like, I, I anybody that says anything otherwise, I'm like, you please prove it, okay? But I'm giving myself that title. Timos Boss, we don't need to prove you're not the hardest working YouTuber in Washington State. You need to prove you are the hardest working YouTuber in Washington State. And so far you have not proven that. And yeah, you can give yourself whatever title you want. Doesn't mean people will call you it. By the way guys, I'm gonna give myself the title God Emperor Jar. And if you don't think I'm a God Emperor, 
then prove it. I'm not just gonna say like I'm the Tupac of YouTube or I'm the Michael Jordan of YouTube or any of that stuff. I'm just myself. Oh my God, he's so humble. And I'm killing it being myself on YouTube, all right? Oh, T-Moss Boss, I don't think you're killing it. I think you have killed it. And by it, I mean your channel. Guys, this video took me forever to make. And there's still more videos of his I really want to cover, but we're already an hour in. And here's why I finally did another video on T-Moss Boss. When I did my first video on him, he had 7k subs, and I had 700 subs. Now I have 70,000 subs. I am a hundred times bigger than when I did my first video on him, and he's not even twice as big. And by the way, that was after being hacked and having to get a new channel. Now more subs doesn't mean your video has better quality, but you were bragging about how you were bigger than me for the longest time, and now I'm over a hundred times bigger and you're not even twice as big. What does that say about you? You think you're some legendary YouTuber who's going to change the world. I have done way more than you, and I don't think I'm anything special. You can keep acting like you're hot shit, but in reality, you're just shit. Anyways, let's check out all the new pieces of fan art! The best piece of fan art is this. This was done by Christina Prime, the girl who drew my character for me. A speed paint of this will be linked down below. Please go check it out. It is absolutely amazing. Also, guys, I'm going to be changing my name to Just the Robot in all caps soon. So don't be confused when Just the Robot 2 suddenly disappears. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube. Debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on. I'm just letting you know, I got nothing against you, but don't make no more videos. Adios.